Hi. Um, so I made a couple of these short haul videos and about eight people are watching them, but uh, I'm hoping to do more. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna show you what I got this weekend and then I'm gonna tell you what I'm hoping to do. Uh, so right now when I'm sourcing, it's just for, it's for therapy. So I'm, I'm buying only a few things. I'm buying the really cheap things, not necessarily like looking for, you know, the perfect brands or whatever to list. So uh, I go Saturday mornings. Yesterday I was in an area of town that I, I don't generally get to, so I stopped at a store and I did pick up three things there. So I'm gonna start with that. These are Rachel and Zoe. Zoe, maybe. Um, I thought they were cute. Um, they're suede and lace and, I mean, look how clean the bottoms are. So, I mean, obviously there's been a foot in it, but they're really clean. And then I bought, um, huh. this might've been a mistake, but I was intrigued. It's um, called Carol Horns Habitat. I saw one, uh, sorry. I saw one on Poshmark and it said it was vintage. So I don't, I believe it just by the feel of, of this, but I don't know. It's beaded, sleeveless, very sheer, you know, definitely for special occasions. I just thought it was so pretty, so. I'll probably list it, otherwise I could put it in the yard sale and make my money back, at least. Planning a yard sale, so that's my backup. Then I got this Betsy Johnson blouse. Also sheer, and it has this tie at the neckline, which I don't know if that's called a pussy bow. I've gotta, I've gotta Google that. Um, and it's got those big buttons. It's, it's just really, I, I like it. I would wear it, except it's so sheer, I don't know. Uh, so that was what I got yesterday. And then today what I got, let's start with the shoes. These are boys size five Avias. And they are uh, really clean. And they, you know, they show little wear. You know, there's no, no like dents from wear. And look how clean that white stuff is. That's never white like that if you've worn them a lot. And they're really light too. I would keep them if they were my size. Because I wear a lot of running shoes. Then I got these sort of combat boots. I have a very similar pair from the Bass Pro Shop. They're like the most comfortable thing in the world. They are. Uh, they look like they're lace, but these actually have Velcro here, a Velcro closure, and then the zipper. And they are just super clean. They're a smaller size, which I know can be a problem. They're a size six. And I, I do try to stay away from the smaller sizes because they sit and sit and sit. But I couldn't resist them. They were on sale. Then I got, so I picked up a couple of Chico's things. I haven't, I haven't sold much for Chico's, but I'm trying to get a few larger sizes. I've also heard Chico's does well on thread up, and I am going to try that at some point once they are past their like waiting five months to process things and when you can get a box label and everything so anyway i just thought it is you know it's got this these pretty watercolors and and a nice sleeve and the sleeve is a sheer i don't know what you call this fabric it's almost silky but it's not silk of course but the torso itself is like t-shirt and then i got some uh, chico's jeans anything super special but they're just like a nice shape and they're in good condition and a size 2.5 short 2.5 their sizing is so weird but anyway they look like they're you know a fairly large size at least a 14 would be my guess so I'm gonna have more more of those sizes um, speaking of size 14 I got another Casper suit it's a nice like coral color and it has beading around the collar. It's three pieces. Or oh, I'm missing a piece. Ah. Where's the other piece? Oh, here. Sorry. We used to call this, it's a, the sleeve, it's sleeveless top, but we, we, we used to call it a shell. I don't know if they still call it that. Um, it's fully lined and it has even more beading. Look how pretty that is. It's in excellent shape. Can't find any stains, nothing. 
great. And then just a straight skirt. I mean, I guess it's sort of a businessy suit, um, which is really not the best thing to have right now, but I won't get around to listing it for a long time, I'm sure. I have this Nicole Miller Original. What I liked about it is, is it almost feels like a sweatshirt. It's got three quarter sleeves, which is unusual. This nice striped inside and the pockets are still sewn shut. So obviously hasn't been worn a ton. And lastly, I do like to pick up a men's, men's things once in a while. This is a Chaps pullover in navy blue with the quarter zip. I'm on grailed now, so that'll probably go on grailed. So that's everything I got. As you can see, no big names, no big money makers, but it's therapy. Um, I'm planning, theoretically, to, to uh, starting January 1st, to really ramp up and make this a full-time thing or at least a significant part of my income. I, I lost my job. So regardless of whether I get work or not get work, I want to make this work because I, because I want to. Uh, so if you're interested in that journey, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to share this with other people who are doing it or who um, want to do it in the process of the transition. I am waiting for January because in the, well, there's personal reasons, but also I want to know more about it before I, before I start sourcing a ton, spending a lot of money on it. I don't want to end up listing a ton of things and then learn these things and have to redo everything. So, you know, I'm watching reseller videos, learning how to do the title properly for the Google search, how to do the description properly for the Poshmark search. I'm watching videos of what's trending because I'm not super trendy. I love clothes, but I don't necessarily follow trends. I like comfortable things. Um, so I just think it'd be great to, to um, find other people that are, you know, that are in that situation. So that's, that's a lot of where my content is going to, is going to go. I'm going to, I'm going to do hauls um, and probably what's sold. Let me touch on that. I did have a good week, even though I didn't sell very much. I sold a Burberry trench coat that I got, um, uh, that I've had listed since probably last, when I started, October or November. And I sold it, and I, it was a beautiful coat, gorgeous, not my size. Um, and then I sold a pair of Timberland um, boot leather booties. Um, oh, and on eBay I sold a um, a program from the Queen concert that I went to when I was like 13 or 14 at the Montreal Forum. It had sentimental value, but I kept it, you know, in a cabinet. It wasn't even displayed, and I just was like, I I've got to get rid of stuff. So. Hopefully it's gone to a good home because I do care about that. So I hope you'll subscribe and uh, I hope to hear from you about where you are in this journey. So I hope to see you again. Bye.